it is bitter it's bitter Hello everyone, welcome back to Coffee and K. I am Kay, and today we're just gonna do a little mini unboxing. I'm gonna show you some things that I've picked up from Monin, and then I'm also gonna use one of those to make a cup of coffee. Before we get started, please make sure you like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And when you do subscribe, please make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload a video. Without further ado, let's get into it and let's see what we got. Okay, we're just going to jump right into this. I have not had a cup of coffee this morning, so I'm really eager to make this cup. So the first syrup that we picked up is the Monin Cupcake Syrup. I saw this syrup recommended by a couple of people, but I was hesitant to try it out just because I wasn't sure if it would taste artificial. Um, obviously, I did decide to get it, so I have some ideas that I want to try out with this, so stay tuned. I will let you know how it tastes and what my thoughts are. Second, we got the Monin Honey Syrup, and I was also hesitant to get this one because, I mean, I like honey, but I have honey, so why do I need a honey syrup? Um, I do have some recipes that I want to try this out in, so I will definitely let you know how, what I think of it, if it does, you know, if you should purchase it or if you should just use your honey. And last but not least, I went ahead and put a spout on this because this is what we're going to be using today. I have the Monin Dark Chocolate Syrup. And this one, I actually got this, I got a mini one in a sample pack that I ordered from Amazon. It was the dark chocolate, I believe a macadamia nut, maybe a hazelnut. It was like a five pack. And when I got it, honestly, I was just like, dark chocolate is going to be the one syrup that I am not going to use. But strangely, I really did enjoy this. Dark chocolate is quite bitter, the candy, but as a syrup, obviously it's a little bit sweeter, but it's also not too sweet. Um, so I really enjoyed this and I'm going to use this today and then hopefully you'll see why. So we're going to go ahead and make a cup of coffee. We're going to be using the La Completa Refinata pod. This is one of my favorite pods that I've tried from Nespresso. It does have fruity notes in it. I believe it has cherry and pomegranate, so it's a bit bitter, but this helps to cut through that bitterness without removing it completely because it does add something quite nice to the coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into my machine. I'm gonna go ahead and brew it into this cup. And for the milk, I'm going to use the Silk Oat milk, extra creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my frother. I'm gonna put a half a cup of milk. All right, that's frothing now. I frothed it on a warm setting and I'm gonna go ahead and brew the coffee. And when that's, while that's brewing, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of the dark chocolate syrup. One tablespoon is equal to half an ounce. So I'm adding one ounce of the syrup to the coffee as it's brewing. I'm gonna use my espresso spoon to go ahead and start that up. Okay, my light stopped blinking, so that is finished. Here's what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and taste the crema. I won't taste the coffee just because I've added the dark chocolate syrup to it, so it's gonna alter that taste. 
but I'm gonna taste the crema for you. It is bitter. It's bitter. Um, it is bitter. You do taste the cherry and the pomegranate for sure. I'm gonna give that a bit of a stir and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the milk to it. If I can get that for you. Okay. Give that a quick stir. What is that? Yeah. That's quite nice. You definitely still get the... You still get the bitterness. You still get the slight bitterness of the cherry and the pomegranate, but the dark chocolate definitely complements it really, really well. And the milk takes just a bit of the edge off, but I really enjoy this pod. Um, I look forward to every cup I have, and hopefully now you will too. Hope this gave you some ideas. All right, that is gonna be the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. Please make sure you like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. And when you do, make sure you hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you for watching.